say hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. <laughs> Good boy. I hug my toy. This is mine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, mommy. I will. Yeah. I'm really good. I look. I look like a people. You are. I know. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna sleep hugging my toy. Oh, hold this toy. Oh. I have to point at mommy. Oh, hold your toy. Good girl. Well done. Beautiful. You're beautiful too. Is it nap time now? Yeah? Is it, mum? Yeah. Okay. She put herself like this. She wanted to see what was going on with Sophie and Elba. <laughs> and next thing we know, she's put her head through like this and she's just stayed like it. <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> you got. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't even know your whole head could fit through I, I that. didn't either. Can your eyeballs close? I'm not entirely <laughs> sure, Mum. If she's in a tiny little ballie. I'm a seal. Just for perspective. I, I have no ears anymore, Mum. No, you're a flower. Yeah. Yeah. The sweetest flower in the world. Yeah. Cute. I'm looking at myself. Yeah. She looks like a user. <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Just snap my eyes. We will not be going to sleep with her staying like this. Regardless of how cute it looks, even from this way. <laughs> and she's so comfy. Yeah. Bless her. But we will not let her stay like this on her own. Will you not, Mum? What's going on? I'm kind of a bit confused. You. This collar is a bit poofy. <laughs> yeah, it's a fashion statement, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's five a.m. and Abba wants to play with a milkshake bottle. Well, that's happening. Hey. We've been working hard. So she's so done some more painting that I can't reach there. And she's done painting all across there and down the back. Da -da. And we've got all this painted here now. And we've blitzed a good portion of the kitchen. Yes. Um, Hopefully this week we'll be able to get the coffee shelves and then all this stuff can be lifted off and um, I'll fix the door hopefully in a couple of days time. But yes! Whoop whoop! We are out the house. And we nearly got killed. <laughs> For some reason, people on this estate seem to think it's a rat run and they drive like idiots. Um, no, they always think they're the only ones on the road. But we are going to go and get the girls weighed because they need to get, we need to get their flea and worm around. We know that they've lost weight. Um, and Alba in particular, her, the bracket that she's in for her flea and wormer is too much now um, so we need to get an accurate rate weight for them um, and 
Then we need to get some more tissue paper and flowers to give out the rest of the thank yous. <clears throat> and yeah, that's kind of it. But it's miserable. But we had to come out today to get it because the girls have got no more dent to choose. So yeah. And we've got mental health team coming tomorrow. Stairlift coming on Thursday. Stairlift people coming on Thursday. So today was the only day really. So let's go see how much they weigh. Does anyone else go into places like pets at home for like one thing? For example, their dinner treats and then end up spending £77 for Christmas stuff. Does anybody else do that? We can't help it. <laughs> it's very bad. <laughs> um, hopefully, hopefully we won't need to go back in again until Christmas. I'm steaming up. Um, hmm, but uh, yeah, so we took them to the vets and got weighed. Um, very happy with the results. I'm sure we'll tell you exactly how much later. Um, and Charlie's just running into Poundland to get some tissue paper and I send to get some squash. Um, so yeah, and 77 pound later, we have a giant zebra toy, two Christmas outfits, and some more toys and treats for them. <laughs> Oops. Oh my god. I just went into Tesco's and we were supposed to get flowers and so for a little list whilst I was in like Poundland and Iceland and whatever. And it I filled the trolley. <laughs> I took one bag in. That bag ended up flat on the bottom because it was horrific. There were so many people so many ignorant people kids were smashing things there was food like on the floor kids were going around on their scooters it is probably one of the worst tesco runs that we've done in a while plus because they're renovating the store everything is everywhere like for example they have mixed like cleaning products with food and then they've got cereal in two different spots of the store and it's just things like that and it's just so horrible um and we've noticed first of all i um clench my jaw in stressful situations which we kind of knew about anyway but yeah but the last few times we've gone out, we've noticed I've not actually gone down on my oxygen a lot. And we think it might be because I, first of all, clench my jaw and like I do this. So I get pain like here and on this bit there. But I don't breathe well when I'm stressed. I like hold my breath and I don't realise. So where is this tank? It, technically should have ran out like an hour ago probably yeah, I've barely touched the oxygen tank it's that minimal um so yeah we, we have established I do that which isn't the best but we did get all the flowers so hopefully that will be the last of the flowers to give out and say thank you um and what? The people with the cards. Oh, it sounded like it sounded like you were thanking someone like the cards that were down with what the rest of it was. No. Um and I'm hoping that I've got enough of like the foodie bits to last us until like next week's payday so we do not have to leave again. Apart from obviously going around giving the flowers out, but that's it. Everything else no <laughs> so we are on our way home now it's nearly six o'clock we left at like quarter past half yeah book three quarter past ish and we didn't really need to be out this long but it's it's ended up like that because a we get distracted and b it's just been a nightmare
no 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 the girls have more christmas toys more christmas treats <laughs> and a costume now to be able to do the christmas photo because if you didn't know every year we dress the girls up in some outfit and we get a shit ton of photos printed and we make our own cards with it and it's just been like a staple that we've done since we've been together um well the, the first year first and second year maybe not but it went as long as we've had albert so like five years we've always done it and it's just adorable and we get so many lovely comments that they like really love the cards because it's so personalized and stuff but yeah if you want a christmas card we are happy to send just um if you pop me a message in instagram which um my instagram's in the description yeah if you pop me a message um and give us your address we'll send you a christmas card um but obviously you do need to give us your address otherwise we can't do it but you can have a personalized picture and card from our girls and so and i but we are now home so we're gonna scurry on in so this is what we got we could probably actually give the turkey leg and whatever for pickle for a birthday because we haven't actually got anything for their birthday have we her birthday so what give them a present each for dixie's birthday we normally do okay yeah well we normally get out one thing okay and we'll show them in this hmm? I didn't realize you got two lots of these. I left one of them downstairs. Oh. Yeah, I got two because I was, didn't know how many people were left. Ah. So we got three of these. Which are like my first sewing kit kind of thing. And they, it's for making a hand puppet. Excuse me. They're for our nieces and nephews. They're from Poundland. Yeah. As are these. Which are kind of like little foam shapes with some tape on the end. And you just basically do little mosaic things like that's what they look like inside yeah so pretty do we show them the outfit or do we just let that be a surprise something go with that no that's oh. fine um, a sock oh i did think something went with it um we haven't even showed them all of that stuff we'll have to do that as well now yeah why not okay if i take everything out then are we showing them the outfits? Yeah, because we're not showing them on. Okay. So everything out, everything out, everything out, everything out, everything out. That one's like a rubbery one, that's different. Yeah. Oh. I was like, what? This is their den to choose. They are so good. And they got seaweed in, and we also put seaweed in with their tea as well, which helps with their bodies and it also like so cleans their teeth fyi the reason why we put it in their food and the reason why it then works on their teeth it's because when it gets into the their like when they eat it it then gets into their bloodstream and whatever's inside the seaweed whatever it works on softening up the plaque via the bloodstream that's right in it yeah, something like that, yeah. And then um, it we, we scrapes off easier. Everything. It's completely safe. Yeah. Like, it's specifically for dogs. So. Yeah. Um, and then, obviously, when they're eating, like, their dentatures and things like that, because the plaque is softened, the dentatures, and, like, when we brush their teeth, it cleans it. So it makes their teeth, like, better. But, boom, we're back. So far, we have... This is a mix of Christmas and... Halloween. Halloween. We've got two lots of these. Which we got today. Hang on. They're super cute. Little hand decorated Christmas cookies. Very adorable. Put them all in here because this box isn't big enough anymore. Uh -uh. Some other little individually wrapped Christmas cookies. These are 
are one is cranberry and one is peanut butter and they're like they're quite hard um they're made from pea starch yeah it's an alternative to raw hide because oh, like what another fyi please don't ever 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 feed your dog rawhide we've mentioned it before basically they're they're the acid in their stomach isn't strong enough to digest rawhide like a normal meal and it sits in their stomach and a lot of dogs have had it rot and go poisonous and killed them from the inside and it can get really twisted in there as well yeah like if they don't chew it up properly which most of the time they don't because it's really hard to chew yeah so we don't know why the product is still on the market, but seriously, it is the worst product that you could give a dog, aside from chocolate and that kind of thing. And also, peanut butter. Please don't give them human peanut butter. There's um something inside human peanut butter that if you give them like too much of, that's also really bad, which is why they have it in pet stores, like a pet-friendly, dog-friendly peanut butter because it hasn't got this thing that and on humans top, and on has top of, on top of whatever it is in the human one human ones also usually have a lot of salt yes which obviously isn't good as well so there's just a little couple of fun facts for you some more alternative raw hides waffle and bacon shaped stuff so cute yep We're back to me now, Mario. Yeah, ma'am. What are they? What are they made of? Vinyl, like, I think. That's the one, and they squeak and they're soft. But yes. Yeah. Yep. We thought and that Dixie would love this, and Abba would love this. Yep. So they're just. <laughs> Doing well. She's doing really good. She's doing so well. For uh, Halloween, we've got these. They had a pack the other day. Which we saw them get super excited yes, about. Yes, they did. Oh, he's so squishy. And also some snouts. Oh, there you go. Um, then we've got things we bought today, which are this one for Alba. Which is an, like a soft type of... Yeah, it's like a rubbery type nylon bone, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Which is bacon and cheese. She is a chewer, whereas Dixie's a... Uh, like... This. Yeah. <laughs> Which, this one's weird, it's both fluffy... And vinyl. Yeah. Like, we don't understand how they've done that so well. No. Quite impressive. Yeah. But yeah. Which... That is kind of similar material to what this is. Which... Yeah, like apart from the fact that this is curly. Yeah. It's really soft. And mm. she is addicted to these. Um, we got, well, Charlie got this for Nova. Mm. This is beautiful. Ah. So cute. And last but not least. <laughs> They're all fits. So it's like that and then there's like a little face the yes. i've just realized how weird it is that this snowman has its buttons on the back of its yeah. body just realized but obviously they can't put it on the front of the body no it's just not gonna wear it, but, but yeah they're like so just two straps that go underneath yeah. their chests like so. this yeah and they're not too thick either which is no nice. Super cute! That's our little Halloween and Christmas haul! Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Hi there. Mine doesn't look as impressive as yours. Yeah, but I've got a lot of skin. Different. Oh, yeah. I was also wondering if it's because my chin sticks out more. Talking of a lot of skin, props to Dr. Mike that's on YouTube. He had a patient come into his office and was getting really bad bruising. They seen seen hematology, ruled out like any nasties like cancer and whatever. Um, and remembered something he learned in med school and it was about Ellos Danlos and wow. he diagnosed them with it. That's really impressive. Which if you know around here, that's what I have. 
and it took about 25 years to diagnose. It's very underknown. Yeah. And um, it usually takes a very long time for people to be diagnosed. Um, and, and misdiagnosed along the way. Yeah, and if it usually if it's diagnosed earlier, you can not necessarily prevent it progressing, but you can do certain things to help delay it. Yeah. Um, I had loads of signs from the day I was born that things weren't normal. Um, and nobody really looked like I wasn't born in a British hospital, so that complicated things anyway. And I didn't actually come to England until I was about three. Um, by which point, obviously, a lot of early medical stuff is already done, and my mum was told everything was fine. But it's not. I've got, like, bilateral hip dysplasia and my hips are pretty much facing the wrong way. Mm. Like, that's just one of them. I had multiple hernias when I was a kid and I'm still having multiple hernias as an adult and that's again, also part of it. I was just going to say, again, that is probably because of the EDS. Yeah. Um, multiple dislocations, fainting. <sighs> so much. So, so much. And yeah, it just didn't get diagnosed until I was 25, 26. So that was shit. Um, like, they use zebras as, like, the mascot kind of thing because they tried to say, basically, just because you hear hooves doesn't mean that it's a horse. So it's like, just because one thing looks like something else, it might be something more common. Yeah, it's not always the most logical explanation yeah. basically yeah so fun fact again <laughs> um but the girls we mentioned earlier well so we mentioned earlier that they've lost weight dixie's lost which is a good thing we, we yes. were trying to help them to lose weight because they got a little bit chunky yeah like their mamas um alba gained a lot of weight because of steroids mm. um and because we it's difficult to walk her and take her out for exercises because of allergies and what it does to her feet um so she did put some weight on but she has lost Oops. six kilograms which in other terms is 6.6 6 pounds dixie's lost two kilograms no that's not right if she's lost six kilograms that would be like 12 pounds because it's 2.2 .2 pounds so didn't she lose three kilograms which is six yes point sorry pounds. three kilograms and uh, which is 6.6 6 kilograms and dixie's lost two kilograms which is 2.2 .2 pounds so i i don't remember she lost two kilograms it's 4.4 pounds one kilogram is 2.2 .2 pounds oh yeah look i am tired <laughs> Well. It's half past eleven at night. <laughs> You're really, really good with numbers. Yeah. So we know that. <laughs> I'm tired. It's been stressful. Yeah, it's been a day. Um, but yeah, I don't. I did get told by the vets when we went with the lump that Dixie had what it she was she was supposed to be. I think she's supposed to be about eighteen pound, eighteen kilograms. Fuck my life. Ha! <laughs> 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 oh, so she's not that far off. And I'm sorry. <laughs> Alba just looks so concerned she, at me. She was just like, I'm offended. <laughs> Alba is also supposed to be about that weight, so she's actually not that far off now. Because obviously they're both in the 19s and they yeah. need to be about 18. So we know that Alba's lost weight because she's got like a really saggy tummy. And, and it's so cute. And she looks a lot leaner as well. Like she's not as... Yeah, when she stands up and things, you can actually see the definition of her muscles, mm. so it's it's really cool. Um, We're very proud of them. Yes. Because it's just as hard for them as it is for us. Definitely, especially as we can't take them out every day because of Alba. Mm. Um, so yeah, that was a, it's a bit of a nightmare, but we are managing it. Yeah, it's a family thing now, isn't it? Indeed. So, we're going to go chill. I'm going to get this gunk up that is making it really hard to swallow. Can hear it as well. Yeah, and uh, thanks for coming to us, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>